Hello. What the hell, Roger? Your guy is supposed to beat up my guy. Oh, no, 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 no. See, my guy beats you up now, and then your guy won't want to fight you tomorrow. Bullies hate sloppy seconds. Four o'clock in the bloody morning. Hello? Um, British Prime Minister Tony Blair. Speaking. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> oh, sorry, Steve. I thought we were going down low. All I have to do is bait the trap. And he may be a master forger, but I am a master bait. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, that was close. Almost masturbated myself there. Joseph Heller's absurdist novel, which- Well, stop right there. You know I only read books I've already read. Or stretch your legs. Oh, oh, odometer's about to turn over to all zeros. That might be interesting to see. Ooh, check out this girl. Just drifting along. What an interesting look she has. I'm, I'm so interested in things today. And well, I'll just say it. I'm behaving very interestingly. Well, that's over. Oh, damn it! You, you following my daughter? Screw you, buddy! Get out of here, you pervert! Your weird daughter made me miss the zeros! She, she made me miss the thing! You freako! I don't know what you're talking about! Get back in your house! Get back in your damn house! Baby brother. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. That's fun to say. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe 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 you're not a man. You're not even a mammal. You're an anti-mammal. I call you animal. That's it. Animal. It may not be a word, but I know what it means. It's about time that the hunter who became the hunted becomes the hunter. Again. You know what, Francine? Your parents at Thanksgiving, that's not gonna work for me. Oh, and Steve, you'll have to find someone else to pick you up after your eye surgery today. And at the end of the night, I'll say a chilly goodbye to the parent of your choosing. Do we have a deal? I'll ask you again in the car. You stay here. It's ringing. It's got one of those funny rings that goes doot doot. Savages. Hello? India? Yeah, it's Pakistan. You know that nuclear peace treaty you sent over? Yeah, well, well listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, that's me wiping my butt with it. Oh, 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 it is on. Oh, meet me at the border at 3 o'clock. Oh, and FYI, I'm punching a cow right now. Say, do you perchance have any Gatorade? I'm afraid I left all my electrolytes with your daughter. Francine, get out. Hey, do you know what I was thinking about last night while I was gazing at the back of your daughter's head? Your promotion. Good morning. Uh. <gasps> Don't you die on me, you bastard! You've never given up on anything before! Fight, damn you, fight! <gasps> ah! I'm a man made out of water. I'm a water man! Do you know what this means? Don't just sit there and stare at me, you sack of water! Say something! We're water! Now I gotta unclone them! Unclone means kill. Whoops. Unclone means kill. Honey! <gasps> no parent should have to bury their child. Which is why your mother and I have arranged for you to be cremated. Please! As if a pizza guy has ever been murdered here and buried under the foundation. <laughs> but nobody's gone to the cops, right? I just acted so heterosexual that I needed something phallic in my mouth to even things out. 
Steve, let the women clear the table while we adjourn to another room so I can tell you how proud I am of you without feeling like a total gaylord. I'm worried. Francine, it says right here, don't worry. Do, do you need to read the note again? Your reading comprehension is terrible. Steve is becoming a man, and one aspect of being a man is having absolutely no interest in women. A baby. A baby you gave birth to and you didn't even know you were pregnant. It just popped out on the lawn. You thought you were just taking a D on the lawn, but surprise, it wasn't a deuce, it was a baby, and it's in that towel. You're a coward. Would a coward do this? Renegade. Roger, thanks for letting me clean your place for the extra cash. No problem. Here's your 50 bucks, kiddo. Oh, and here's some old sweatshirts and one shoe. I, I don't have the other one, so I don't know if you still... He's nice. I take. Give me your money! <laughs> Is that the come back and kick me whistle? <gasps> My God, what happened to your face, honey? I got robbed in front of my room. They stole the 50 bucks you gave me. Oh, no, that's terrible. Hey, look at my new bracelet. It jingles. <laughs> For 50 bucks, it better, right? Thanks for walking me home, Roger. We're safer in pairs. <laughs> Ah, I don't have time for this. Chicken pot pie? Chicken pot bye. Oh, no, you got robbed again. And almost raped. Almost. Jeff, at least use that scooter to get home. Just speed through that hallway and get home safe. Okay. Thanks, Roger. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands now. Light always here. Help! Carjacking! This is getting ridiculous. You want me to walk you home again? It didn't help last time. She's just trying to help the kid out. I'm gonna rape him this time. You know the drill here. You know, I remember a time when this was a safe hallway. I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I could walk home without being scared. Yeah, I don't want to be scared anymore. Just shut up and give me. Ah! Oh, that's a whoopsie. You slept with my daughter? Well, to be perfectly honest, neither of us did very much sleeping. It's just a CIA carnival. Why are we folding napkins? Because there'll be food and my boss likes to wipe his mouth on swans. What the hell is this? Metrosexual soccer icon David Beckham. I can't do swans. I don't know why. Oh, what a long night of killing people who don't deserve it. Where is small-breasted bar wench? She didn't come in today. But there is someone here to see you. Who are you? Do you not recognize me, Dimitri? I am Mama Marush, matriarch of the Armenian Mafia. <gasps> you killed a woman, Dimitri. You bring dishonor on our family. You know what you must do. Captain Francois Dubonnet, French Interpol. I have devoted ten years of my life to toppling your criminal empire, Madame Marouche. Your reign of terror is over. And I am Marie Dubonnet, your neglected wife. Your obsession with the Armenians has destroyed our marriage and driven me into the arms of my lover, Raoul. And I am Raoul. You are too old and barren. I am leaving you for a real woman who can bear me a son. And I am your doctor. The bull's horn has done too much damage. 
Your testicle cannot be saved. You will never have a son. And I am Toro, Raul's half-bull son from the future. My father's other testicle became stronger, and he met it with a bull to conceive me. And I am an Amish idiot savant who hath proven with nary a doubt that time travel is impossible. And I'm Haley, and all of this is just a figment of my drug-induced imagination. And I'm Roger. Your internship's over, Haley. Fine, just sign my damn internship form. Never. That I, Haley, am just gonna forge your signature. Roger Smith. What happened? Did I win? <laughs>